one of the observable signs to track where you are in your cycle is temperature and not just any temperature. Actually, I'll call it out. We call it EBT and it stands for basal body temperature, meaning it's like your baseline temperature um, first thing when you wake up in the morning before you started doing any activity. And here's an example of a BBT thermometer and how you know it's what you want is that it measures to the hundredth of a degree. We need it accurate because your temperature changes throughout your cycle, but it changes like in little increments. Um, for example, in the first half of your cycle, when you wake up in the morning, maybe your temperature is around like, I don't know, 96.3, sorry, 97.3. Like if I'm taking my temperature on, you know, day two of my cycle, and I took it again on day eight, they're all gonna be kind of, for me anyway, is um, right around this range, maybe like 97.5. So again, pretty similar. And then what happens is after you ovulate, your basal body temperature jumps a bit. Again, it's a small amount, that's why we use these accurate thermometers. But if you're taking your temperature regularly at the same time every morning, you will notice, let's say ovulation was day 14, Starting on day 15, maybe it's now like 98.18. And again, that doesn't seem like a huge jump, but when you're paying close attention, you'll notice. And then you'll wanna make sure this wasn't an anomaly and maybe day um, 16 and 17, it's also, you know, right around the same. And so if we were graphing this, you know, my temperature was essentially like here-ish, then after ovulation, it went up. And again, if you achieved pregnancy, this um, temperature would stay high all throughout pregnancy. If you're gonna get your period, then it would drop back down. And then we're kind of back to where we started, um, taking our temperature again, day one of the new cycle, and it's gonna be back down to that like baseline level. Um, so notice, taking my temperature leading up to when I think I'm going to ovulate does not tell me when I'm going to ovulate. It is not predictive. Though some people do experience a drop, like a slight drop right before ovulation. Um, so again, if you're tracking carefully and you do notice you have that pattern and you're able to catch it, this could be a good sign for you to help predict when ovulation is coming. Um, but it's not the very best predictive sign. We'll get to that soon. What it's best for is confirming whether or not you're ovulating. So if you're going into a provider and you're concerned about your ability to get pregnant, it is really useful if you know at least whether or not you're ovulating. And that can be confirmed by tracking this temperature increase after ovulation, especially if you are able to show that it's happening um, you know, multiple cycles in a row then you know you're ovulating and you know that's not um, the issue. You can sort of, you know, take care of one variable right there and give some really good information to your provider. 